Hello, welcome to another episode tonight, a bonus episode, episode 20 of Venture Ventures, Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus. Uh, A lot of shit went down in episode 19, stemming from bad negotiations with the red cap, and subsequently a mummy lord showed up. A bean was thrown, a mummy lord showed up, and many red caps perished, and now there's a pyramid in the middle of Fort Knucklebone. What else am I missing? There's no more mummy lord. There's no more mummy lord. That's there true. is a pyramid. <laughs> and there's and, uh, Maggie was not too happy about the pyramid. I don't not know why. It's a, it's a beautiful <laughs> feature. It's the she only pyramid to... in hell that I'm that I know of. More specifically, she wants it gone. Yeah. There you go. (laughs) I don't know about that. I'm going to turn on the ambiance one second as I remix. I feel like half of that campaign, or half of that last episode was me trying to get my soul coin back. And you did. I did? did. Absolutely. Mission accomplished. Cool. I think I got the ambiance going. All right. Energy, energy, energy. Uh, you guys just killed the mummy lord. Woo! Mummy lord. And uh, Jerry's pretty fucked up. Do a mummy roll. I don't look awesome <clears throat> myself either, but I'm okay. I'm fine. I think one of you last time said you wanted to look in there. Yes. Yeah. Are we looting the pyramid? Is that what's happening? Well, Maggie wants us to deal with it. I don't, I don't know how to, how to get rid of a pyramid. So we might as well look around it. That's what I figure. Yeah, it wasn't very big, right? It was one room, it was like ten feet, sixty but feet. But there's just we didn't one get room. a chance. To... Well, yeah, but we didn't, we didn't get to really look inside. We saw the thing, and Jerry opened it while we were. We kind of ran. Figured the threat's gone. Should take a look. <clears throat> how how so Jerry looks real messed up, right? If you were to put it in a term of uh, numerical value, no, real messed up is good enough for me. I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> give him a, a cure wounds. Uh, well, that's not great. <laughs> six points of healing. He heals for six. Oh, I can't make changes to this. Oh, yeah, it's just... A... It's okay, I got it. I got um, it. It's kind too. of a bummer. At least you don't have to worry about the spells that you don't know about. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Brian. Well, it's not your fault, it's just what, it's what how D&D Beyond works. All right. All right, we all ready? Time to sneak in again. I still move pretty cautiously, because I don't trust this can also uh, send my spider you're not in stealthing and you're just being cautious correct okay so make a perception or investigation check oh <clears throat> boy and perception is a six okay i rolled a nat one so you're climbing in there you see a crack in the floor and you're like that is definitely a trap so you avoid it, it. You see it. Okay. And so you avoid it. And then when you step on the next tile, right, nothing happens. Hey, that's cool. And then you step on the next one. Yeah. And that's the one where nothing happens. Oh, cool. And eventually you make it into the main chamber. Oh, sweet. And nothing has happened. Following him, and I rolled a nat one. Mm -hmm. You didn't see the crack. Am I still following him? Yeah, you're following him, and you didn't see the crack, and you step right there, and nothing happens. <laughs> and... We've already made it through this hallway once. Oh, yeah. <laughs> without <laughs> looking for traps. That's true. <laughs> your voice always... I love That's when not that... true. I looked for traps last time. You're crazy, it's, man. It's not very good at it. <laughs> you're crazy. Yeah. Uh-huh. Do the uh... voice again. Who, me? Yes, your voice. Oh, that was it. Was because I I was exhaling. I know face. that's why it was funny. You're crazy, man. It makes me talk like this. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's so yeah. So we 
we make it inside. Um, <clears throat> is there anything, you know, we were pretty focused on the closed sarcophagus. Is it just a An bare empty, room? bare room with a sarcophagus, a pretty plain stone sar- sarcophagus. Uh, inside, uh, you see the broken vials on the edges of the sarcophagus where acid was sprayed. And <clears throat> inside... Whoever's checking, make an investigation check. You do see some gl- gold, um, but if you want to search for more shit, make an investigation check. Whoever's doing it. I go to start, but I assume Jarvis pipes up and uh, says that he should do it. Yeah, we, like we all know does. that you can never find anything, but my role wasn't so much better. Uh, Thirteen. Okay. Uh, first thing you find, uh, amongst the gold coins, uh, is a ring that is silver and then goes translucent, and you're pretty damn sure without a roll, this is a ring of invisibility, of course you could confirm that, uh... If I had a pearl. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. And, uh... You also find a at the bottom underneath some of these coins covered is a long sword covered with a velvet bag and it's just a purple velvet bag and this long sword is very clean, very beautiful and shiny uh, with filigree down the center of the blade and uh it's almost elvish in nature uh yeah that's what you find along with gold do you want any of the gold i want all of the gold you want all of the gold well not me personally but jervis was that um was that mummy sleeping on a pearl yeah no (laughs) there's hey you no shame there's 346 gold Um, so Someone that dividing that four ways, yeah. Three forty-six is uh, eighty-six point five a piece. So eighty-six, and then someone gets an extra five silver, eighty-six yeah. gold, and five silver a piece. Oh yeah, that's right. You can you can split. Yeah, I forgot you can't. <laughs> I was let's like, just, oh wait, you can do that. Let's just make it three forty-eight because I think that would divide evenly, right? Yeah, eighty-seven each. Great. Is it actually gold that we got in hell? Well, yeah, the like, pyramid was this pyramid. Oh yeah, think. the pyramid wasn't supposed to be in hell. You right, kind of got it in hell. It's kind of in a gray area. <laughs> What's so the we got, like in so we got money we can't use. Got it. Maybe. Can't hey, use you can use it when you get out. If you get out. Make it out. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's the problem yep. well i don't see a, a pyramid back in the ground switch or anything in here maybe if i throw another bean in here it'll disappear don't do that. maybe <laughs> i guess it's possible <laughs> jake's just like fuck self-roll not <laughs> one on my intelligence check <laughs> yeah no you should totally do it that's <laughs> That's got to be it. Uh, a pyramid bean and an undo bean. It's all right. If I if I also roll in that one, I'm totally doing it. <laughs> Q the net nope. one. Seventeen. Oh. Nope, not doing it. Your wisdom wins out. Well, I mean, I did, you're the wizard here. Any? Do you know how to how to displace a sixty foot pyramid? Um. You, look, you summoned it. We can look for the bean that I threw. Maybe, I don't know. Do I know anything about making wit- like pyramids disappear? I highly doubt it. <laughs> like, no. Nope. Do you have a backstory reason why you'd know nope. anything about construction or engineering? Have nope. you studied the? I, great actu- I, I actually angel? did. I did work. I did work in uh, as a um, bullshitter's apprentice. Yeah. Um, that thing. That thing I'm slowly stalling for while I look at my background. Researcher. Mage. Sage. Blah. I tell you what. I'll let you make a intelligence check with disadvantage. 
Was Eighteen, your mentor 29. Chris Angel? He might know how to make a pyramid disappear. No, it was Matt Mercer. Oh, well, he's not going to teach you anything about wizardry. That's nope. true. Just voices. No. Straight intelligence? Straight. Nine. Nine? Okay. Thanks for reminding nothing, me so. that there's no critical role. Yep, yep you're welcome. <laughs> critical, critical role. <sighs> critical, critical role. Um, yeah, guys, I don't... I got nothing. Well, uh, looks like we uh, we built new housing for the red caps. Maybe I eh? can. Maybe I can. We, I've, we heard can of, this. I've heard of some um, some mages that have been able to make like take things to other planes. Maybe I can study and figure out a way down the road to put it somewhere else. Mm, I don't know how Maggie's gonna feel about that. We kind of kind of stepped in a little bit, I think, with her. Rough. Oh, well, let's, I mean, uh, I guess we should just go talk to her and let her know the bad news. We could go get some pickaxes and just start. Maybe. Start whamming. <laughs> Chipping away. I don't know, Jerry. You, uh, you want to give it a whack? He's got Jerry, them all. Jerry would love to. <laughs> Jerry's like, I'll take care of this by myself. Oh, Roll your Jerry. athletics <laughs> or attack. Is what I want. Attack. Where was Lulu during all of this? Uh, Hanging out with Chunk and Clunk. Ch Chuck, Chuck and Clunk, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Does uh, 25 hit uh, yeah. the pyramid? Yeah. Yeah. 16 damage. 16 damage. with this plus two mall where is that on my digital dm screen gotta check out the pyramid hp mm -hmm. standard hp for a, it's a pretty it's, <laughs> pyramid actually have hp it's a pretty good dm screen it covers every possible <laughs> every single possible uh, it's contingency huge the huge dm that's screen. why it's taking me so long to uh <laughs> filter through it all <laughs> yeah da, da, da. uh nope nope yes what'd you say that would you what was your hit 16. It was 25 to hit, 16 damage. Clank. Oh, 25 to hit. Oh, yeah. Okay. 16 damage. Yeah, you're making progress. Uh, some of you get a little chip of rock off. <laughs> How big is this pyramid? One chip. 60 by 60, I believe. Square. <clears throat> so we're going to continue our campaign. We'll see you in <laughs> a couple years. You thought I was joking last episode when I was like, it's just going to be Jerry. Bashing, bashing on a pyramid. On this pyramid. <laughs> you know, she well, I mean, could we just, could we could just, just leave move her camp, and we like she could go somewhere else if she doesn't like the pyramid. I think that's. I don't a, think that's how this is going to work. Yeah, <laughs> pretty established here. Yeah, this is. Know, let's 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 hop outside. We're in really close quarters in here. We at least dealt with the evil thing. Right, right. Here. You dealt. We with think it we dealt time. with. Like I care. like I said, like I said, we. It, Put a spin on it. It's it's new housing for the red caps. It's Jarvis. the only a ten home. foot housing. <laughs> Jarvis, they can make, hollow it out. Make a history or arcana check. Oh God, what's coming back? Seventeen. <laughs> uh, there are things in the world that don't die like normal things die and a lot of times that is undead things and other means will be required to extinguish their life force and sometimes things like vampires reform uh, after you think you killed them unless you kill them in a certain way or do something so Kairos, you know how you said we've taken care of the problem? Yeah. I was just remembering did. some research from back in the day. Um, 
This is when he made... wanted to be a lich. He was he was just in the beginning stages of l lich Lichdom. research. We uh, we can't be a hundred percent certain that that thing is gone forever. Sure, we can. I'm. Uh, I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sure we can. So, I am. <laughs> so about that, um, I might not have mentioned this, but I kind of just remembered we might have been needed to kill it a certain way to get rid of it, and that might have we only did. been a temporary solution. No, we killed it. No, uh, it, see, you it don't understand. No, yeah, it, it crumbled to dust. You, you sure. didn't see well, it actually it the die. You didn't see the, you know. It's, it's dust. It, yeah, I, I saw it. I saw turn an, to uh, dust. I saw an undead turn to dust. I'm, I'm. So, yeah, you, no, we killed it. So like you know, things can come back from the dead, or you know, reappear and rematerialize. You know, magic. Do you know where we are? We're in hell. Yeah. So who cares? Okay. Well, we dealt with it. I'm pretty let's sure just make sure it. we're not here if it ever comes back. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not moving in. About... Do you want to live in four knuckle bones? <laughs> About this time, uh... I'm actually also going to, um, spend a little bit while we're just... Once we get out of the pyramid, before we go talk to her, I'm gonna spend a little bit to cast a Ritual of Detect Magic. Okay. And I wanna see if there's any, like, remnants of any magic in the area. While you are casting your ritual... Oh, fuck. Uh... <laughs> You hear the familiar voice of some imps at the entrance to the pyramid. One of them goes, Hey there, how's it going? Oh, I know that voice. Uh, this wasn't here Pins? before. Yes, that yeah, is how's, my name. How's it, how's it going, Pins? No, it wasn't here before. It's uh, you, you need a new house? I think it's uh, open real estate right now. It's practical. Nice place. place. We did locate your Hezru. Oh, right. Yeah, no, that's probably why you're here. We found that's... them. We found two of them. Oh, neat. Where, uh... Where's that? Uh, it's just past the dune of irrevo irrevocable bloodlust. And then you hang a right on the... Uh, on the sucky suck sack and <laughs> okay. I have and my pad of paper out <laughs> writing a very big letter yeah. then you go Drawing under then you go under the snot uh, river of regret insight check <laughs> do you fly under the snot river you said you guys fly it seems like a weird uh... there's a tunnel 17 sure. on insight I think it's telling the truth but you have cool. no idea where these things are, and you think it may be better that you, they tell Chuck and Clonk, who you are helping sure. with this task, and Pins and Needle says... That's why I'm taking notes. Pins says, uh, <laughs> Pins says uh, well, if there's nothing else, we're going to get back to it. We'd like to thank you again for helping us. With this little problem, we will not tell anyone, but we will tell Mad is Maggie there, that you helped us out. Is there anything on the way that we should be concerned of that you guys might have avoided? Uh, no, not uh, not anything stationary that might... There's plenty of things that could roam around, but... Cool. You'll be in war machines, so you'll be fine. How long were they gone for? Like an hour? Uh, yeah, we'll say, yeah, probably a little over an hour. Yeah, no, great, awesome. And they're both in the Thanks. same spot? They're traveling together. Uh, which Hunting. direction were they headed? Remember, Gary, that directions are finicky things. There's no telling you you don't really need to know that to be honest like okay because chuck and clonk are going to be the guides Guide. we have guides unless you really want a northwest south east 
Nope. Just wanted to make sure I was asking all the questions so we didn't get there. And you're like, you didn't ask where they were going. Yeah, I won't. <laughs> I won't do that. Um, cool. The only way I would do that is if you like didn't tell Chuck and Clonk for some stupid reason, but you wouldn't do that. So, um, I mean, they could be mad at us right now. Who knows? Chuck and Clonk? They have no reason. To be mad. Oh no, they don't live here. Never mind. They don't care. They anyway. They live they at the do. fort. They do, but. <laughs> I don't, it's we not their, their place. It's not their fort. Yeah. Um, so Pin uh, says, we're going to go now if there's nothing else. Uh, no, I, I guess not, unless you want to tag along, but I don't. doesn't seem like you... Uh... No, no, nothing else. We're, we're Hold good. on. Hold on. I have one question, Pins, real quick. I if you think were, I know what If you were ask. to attempt to buy arrows yeah. with a soul coin... How many do you? How many arrows do you think you could get? I would never buy arrows with a soul coin. <laughs> That's silly. What would you trade for arrows? Down here? This is a very stupid hypothetical question. Hypothetically, let's say he spent it a soul <laughs> coin and got fifty arrows. How stupid would that have been? I'd put that up there. <laughs> I yeah. I would. I think Asmodeus would like to know that oh, he probably already does know it and is probably putting it uh in a top 10 list <laughs> at least i made a list modius is like dave letterman he just makes top 10 <laughs> lists. <laughs> all right in hell in. if you were to translate a soul coin to gold what would be i'm not ratio? sure that's they're much more valuable down here than gold. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't buy fifty arrows <laughs> with a soul coin, though. Yeah, I would. I, I I won't do that. I would barter. Again. I would barter items, perhaps. Uh, gold even would come into play here. It might be cost more than it normally would on the material plane, but. Uh, I don't know. All right, noted. I appreciate the information. Yes, I suspect that some of this was true. Uh, I I I'd hope so. Cannot confirm nor deny. Deception check. <laughs> It's pretty good. What's my deception? Mod 20. Yeah, he goes. Okay. Well, it was nice working with you guys. We'll be off now. Have a good fight. Enjoy your blood. Thank you. Uh, your detect magic ritual goes off fine. And the ring and the sword are very magical. Very magical. Uh, very. Do I know a school of magic? Um, illusion for the ring, and which corresponds or confirms your suspicion based on its physical appearance. And the sword glows in the same way magic weapons glow. Hey, uh, <clears throat> Kairos, I, I know you like I know you like swords. Um, yeah, but I've been eyeing it since you picked it up. I'm it, kind of it, offended you haven't handed it to me yet. It, it's I was trying to find out if it was <laughs> magical for you. Do you have no patience? No, I don't. It was found in the bottom of a sarcophagus, and it's clean. I'm gonna go ahead and answer that question for you. Have I we pulled love... the sword out yet? Do we know what it looks like? <clears throat> yeah, I you, have it. Yeah, I, I told you about the filigree and the... Yeah, 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 what kind of sword? Is it a finesse or a strength sword? Because I'm trying to get that here. It's a long a sword. long sword, you said? Sword. Which I believe is a strength sword. Yes, I think you're right. So I can't tell oh, you exactly, you know, what it does. It, you know, I assume I... Because I can't identify it, so I probably just know it's it's probably just like a plus one or plus... Oh, well, I mean, I can. Oh, tell you said you it's very it strong, so it's probably <laughs> very. It's very powerful. I will tell you that. I mean, it, you cut things with it. I you hoping... see, it has two. The sides are very sharp. You see, 
and uh, you can swing. So, it. like, you know, here's your, it too. Here, here's your thing, and then here's like this thing. It's better, way better. Well, I don't know. My thing's pretty great, but I mean, yeah, let, I'll swing it around a, f- a bit, and then we'll see how it goes. It's perfectly balanced. It's a sweet sword. Sweet. I will uh, hold on to that, and right. Well, I, I guess right now I'll just hold on to it. Not and, gonna uh, attune. We're not taking a short rest yet, so once I, I can, uh, I'm gonna attune to it. Absolutely, Jake. Okay. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> what about the ring? So, um, I was gonna ask the party. So this is a this is a ring. I believe it makes you invisible. Um, well, I'm pretty I, sure. I, you I can, can do, do that, that right, right now, so I can either, you know, give it to one of you, or I can replace my ability to be invisible with something else. And well, that might well you can you can already do that, and Rollercoaster can do that. Um, I cannot become invisible. I was like, Dude, what? I've seen I've seen you vanish no less than twelve <laughs> times. <laughs> I, I'm very sneaky. He, he but definitely I no invisible. insight check needed. Mm. Uh, Kairos definitely <laughs> believes you went invisible, and he, you literally. I know. I know. Last time, you know. Not a do. I know. Even if you were invisible, it wouldn't mean anything because you are a loud mother. No, I was gonna. I was gonna suggest maybe Jerry because he's he's also pretty loud. But you're a mother, clank, Kairos. Less clanky. Jerry says. Uh, yes, to three. I turn to Jerry. <laughs> Whoa, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Yep. <clears throat> three, three little ones. That's right. Yeah. Jerry's not a bad Jerry? one to have it. Cool. Sure. Jerry can have it. You, you, you got to wear it for a little bit before you can do anything, Jerry. <laughs> All right. But it looks really nice. I can see Jerry taking it. And just quite flattering it. on your hand. What do I want with the ring? You wear it. See, a ring. You put your. You put put it on your finger that's what the holes for this one can make you invisible though <laughs> okay wait, wait is jake is jake, i thought who's playing jerry is it jake right now jake DM? is Ross, I'm so it's confused. at the dm's discretion or Roz's discretion if he has something <laughs> funny to say with jerry mechanically is the only thing that matters here yeah. any of us can play jerry yeah. mechanically Roz will do the rolling for him and deal fair with enough okay. yeah. i was so confused i was like wait what happened to jerry unless it's like something ridiculous we're like i'm jerry i'm gonna go jump off a cliff so i can fuck with jerry now together. since he's not here jerry will hate to you extent. to an extent just remember that you have also not been here sessions touche <laughs> I wouldn't actually do anything like that. How you yeah. lost your first soul coin? You weren't here. <laughs> this is true. Where did where did that? Soul, well, I didn't have the soul coin, but where did it end up going? We paid it to the boatman to oh, bring us over the river across the river, river. Yeah, right. The Moreno cool. Loth, I believe they're called. Oh. Oh. We didn't ask him. <laughs> so I, what are you? We Moreno we didn't have Loth? much of a conversation with him. He was weird. So before we go look. for get Chuck and Clonk to go to this place. Should we see if we can cash in on any of our uh, street cred? Um, there was also, I remember there's a, a flaming skull darting around looking for something before the pyramid oh. showed up. Is he still around or did the pyramid disrupt his search? Yeah, you can go find him. He's on a, cause this whole thing is like a, almost a full circle around this rock hand outcropping. The uh, the wall goes almost a full circle around, so mm-hmm. there's a lot of real estate to cover, and you can go find him. And um, uh, you you definitely find it's easy to find a flaming skull. How big of a flaming skull? Like a normal human head. Oh, okay. For some reason, I imagined him being like a ten foot flaming Fair giant. Enough. Huge. <laughs> And he's and he's just looking for looking through piles of stuff. Yep. Uh, just howdy. Sh- shooting fire bolts at stuff to move things. Gotcha. Move uh, you know my fire bolts. It works a lot better if you just. He can. Can he We're, teach me? You... Well, I Sorry. guess you don't have hands, buddy. I can. Do you want me to just move some of this garbage for? Hi, I'm Kairos. What's your name? <laughs> I'm Barnabas. Uh, nice, nice to meet you, Barnabas. Uh, you, you look, you look like you need some help. I lost my tooth. 
The tooth. My tooth. Give me a smile. Just whistling through the broken hole. Through one missing tooth. Yeah. I mean, I think it gives you character, frankly. That's just me, but I, I understand that you might want to find your tooth. What happened? How does a skull lose a tooth? Grubba! Grubba knocked it out and took my tooth! And hid it in garbage? Who's Grubba? I don't know which one of them red caps has it now. Oh, God. God not this it. again! <laughs> 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 Red caps are just the worst. They really Why? are. <laughs> Why do people tolerate them down here? <laughs> Dude, we had the same reaction, me and Bojan, when we went to that D and D thing and we were doing the scavenger hunt, having to deal with the red caps. We had the same reaction, where it's just like, "Why are oh. we doing this? They're such <laughs> assholes. They gave us bad information." Yeah. <laughs> Well, the nice thing is this time we can just go in swinging, because, frankly, I don't care if more of them die at this point. I am a little hurt, but I'd take at least a bunch out before I go down. Anyway, um, why, why do they want your tooth? They're just fucking with me. Oh, fair enough. They're dicks like that. They keep trying to fuck with us. That's why a bunch of them are dead now. You win some, you lose some. They lost a bunch. Anyway, I, I, I'm always fine with smashing some red cap skulls. Uh, you want us to ask around for you? Yes, please. I mean, we yes. can do that. <laughs> yeah, Is sure, there sure. anything that, you know, you remember about any of these, the red cap that took it? Grubba took it. Oh, yeah, that's right. But I What's don't know like? which one has it now. Because I Grubba went and asked like? Grubba, and he said he didn't have it. He's probably lying, because he's a red cat. Oh, that's true. <laughs> what does this grubba look like? Where can we find him? He's got a red probably. cap on with I guess he has a red shoes. cap? <laughs> yep. They, I mean, they it all looks look like the, same. the rest yeah, of them. That's right, I forgot they all look the same. They'll call you a dirty elf if you see him, probably. But a lot of them will call you a dirty elf. <laughs> well, we'll use that as a, as a barometer. It looks like, Jarvis, you're up front. <laughs> We're looking for someone who calls you a dirty elf. Every we'll, single we'll, one that calls you a dirty elf. Is we'll start there. <laughs> we'll interrogate the first one, and hopefully he knows who Grub is. <clears throat> so you find a, a red cap. <laughs> <laughs> who do I look like? A dirty elf. A dirty elf. And... Uh, you want to try to do something uh, charismatic I'm... with them? Nope, just going to ask him. We're looking for a man by the name of uh, Grubba. What do you want with Grubba? We are, uh, we've been Liar. told to... You're being far too nice. I just grab him and I start <laughs> shooting the red... Like, making, where's grandma <laughs> we're making intimidation check. Uh, I was, yeah... <laughs> I'm not intimidating at all, so I was trying to talk my way through that one. Rolled a two, but that makes it an eight. I don't know why I can't intimidate a red cap. I've rolled plenty of good intimidation rolls, just not get against the red cap. We should get advantage for a pyramid appearing in front of them. Under them. Kairos punch. This is in a different about. part of the air of the uh, fort. Lame. After Rilico says that, I punch him. <laughs> okay. Uh when you do that, um, four, 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 five four. other red five. caps, um, turn around and they go, Hey, knock it off. He deserves you're, it. You're, you're, you're dead meat and roll initiative. <laughs> oh yeah. Yay okay. for killing red caps. <laughs> I'm not in any shape to fight. Oh shit! <laughs> I forgot about that. And you guys, but Kairos not, is very confident. So I'm not, I'm not like gonna tell you when the sun goes down because it doesn't. So you guys need oh. to. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Are we feeling any bit tired? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Kairos, what'd you get? Five. Jarvis. Eight. Rollercoaster Jer uh, got an 18. Jerry got a 21. 
Jerry rolled an at 20. Okay. Jerry is up first. Uh, Jerry's gonna fucking rage. That's a bonus action, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then take two swings with his mole at the closest red cap that comes okay. near him or looks aggressive. Mm hmm. First attack is a mod 20. Mm hmm. Second attack is an 18. Smash, smash. So the first hit does nine damage. The second hit does 14. All right. That red cap is going to retaliate on Jerry with its wicked sickle. Three multi, three attacks with this multi attack. A 13, a 17, and a 24. Second two hit. You D four. Total of sixteen slashing damage. All right, so eight. Okay. Uh, the next red cap is going to run up he's he's about 25 feet away and is going to try and kick Jerry with its big fat iron boots and uh, Jerry needs to make a dexterity saving throw clunk 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 13 Nope. 3d10. Thank god I raged. 3d10? These red caps can kick. They got fat ass iron shoes. But they're small. They have also outsized strength, so they're stronger than their size. Uh, that's 24 bludgeoning damage. Shit. So twelve, and he's knocked prone. <laughs> okay. Holy shit, Jerry does not look good. Yeah, <laughs> at all. This might have been a tire. We may have underestimated the red cap. And <laughs> there's five of them. All right, the next one's gonna go, and it's gonna run up to Kairos because he was the dick who was shaking his friend. Hmm. Three oh, sickle no. attacks. 17. Nope. Uh, 9 and a 16. Nope. 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 Okay. For the two of them, I catch on my shield. Okay. Rollercoast. I back, is I, none of them are on me, correct? Not currently. I back up 30 feet. Okay. <clears throat> um, seeing the dire situation we're in, I am going to. Take three sharpshooter attacks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the first one at the one that's attacking Jerry. He okay. doesn't look very good. It's a 14 to hit. Uh, hit. Yes. Okay. 11 plus 10, so 21 damage on the first one. Okay. Is he still standing? Barely. Barely, okay. Second attack at that guy. Uh, higher than okay. that. Two plus five, 17 damage. Yep, dead. Then the third attack is my Dread Ambusher attack, and I'll take out the one... The next... Actually, I'll take out the one on Kairos. Okay. Uh, 23 to hit. Yep. Uh, 
21 damage to that one. Nice. Oh, claps. Anything else? Uh... Nope, that'll be the end of my turn. Okay. Uh, Redcap's turn. You couldn't get 30 feet away from every single Redcap, so this one's going to run 25 feet. And uh, it's going to Wicked Sickle you. Okay. Wow. That's two threes for the first two. And uh, what is that? 20. Yeah, that hits. Eight slashing damage, roller coast. Okay. And that one's done. Jarvis. I'm going to cast haste on Kairos. Okay. And I'm going. Am I? Are any of them within five feet of me? Not currently. I'm running. Back a little baby. Okay. Thirty feet. Full range of movement. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Another red cap's turn. Uh, it's gonna run at Kairos full speed, and uh, it's gonna try to drop kick him with his boots. Dexterity saving throw. You have advantage on dex saving throws. Woohoo! Thank you. <laughs> And I needed it, because one of those is a 1, and the other one is a 17 for a mod 20. Yeah, good job. <sighs> yeah, very good. 3d10 <laughs> could have been real bad for me. Your turn, Kairos. Oh, sweet. My turn. <laughs> I forgot that. I'm so glad I picked this tiefling. I got bonus smites. Um, my eyes go all crazy silver as my, uh, as my longsword. Um lights up with silvery energy i branding smite with my bonus action okay and um let's go for the one that uh hit me first okay. tried to and the failed. one with an arrow sticking out of him the one with an arrow sticking out of him okay not 20. okay <laughs> So that is a, it's a D8, because it's a long sword, I assume. I'm not attuned to it, so I'll just well, count it If as. you're using two hands and not using your shield. I'm definitely using my shield, so okay. it's just one hand. Yep, D8. Um, but then Branding Smite, I don't know why I clicked away from it, gets me an extra 2D6 Radiant. All right, so long sword damage is 7 plus 6 still. 20 slashing damage plus another 12 radiant damage. No, yep, I did that right. So 32 points total. You chop oh, its head off. I slice his head off. Second attack is for the one that dropped kick, drop kicked me. Okay. No more branding smite. That is a 16 plus 7, 23. Yes. Okay, and that is a 8. Plus six is 14 points of damage on that one. Okay. And then I have my hasted action. Um, I believe the first one that we interrogated is also right next to me still. The uh, one that I punched to instigate this whole fight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my third attack, I'm going to grapple him. Okay. Uh, they're considered medium. Oh, they are. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I got a 24 on my athletics. You got a 24 as well. Where does the tie go for a grapple check? <laughs> he doesn't get grappled. Damn it. Slippery. Strong. Real strong. Surprisingly strong. Strong. <laughs> it wasn't slippery. It was strong. Strong little bastard. Okay, Anything else? Uh, that is my turn. That is the end of my turn. The top of the round. Didn't expect that. You hear Mad Maggie walking up going, God damn it! <laughs> Again? 
Not our fault. It's the Knock red cap. It off. Knock it off. Yelling at the red caps and stuff. She goes, What in the hell are you doing? Were you about to summon another pyramid? <laughs> at least this time, me and, me and uh, what's his face aren't even anywhere near this. Uh, no, 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 no more pyramids. Uh, didn't even know the first one's coming, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, we're just trying to help out Barnabas. Uh, Red Cap stole his tooth. She's looking at all of you and just like, so why would you? I understand Red Caps are shit hey heels. Why would you just immediately start a fight? Is this no, we didn't that, start the fight. We were just trying to try find out where Grubba was, and they got all antsy about it and started Caps coming after They started us. the fight, those little shits. They're, they want to kill us all. They that. hate us. I do want to kill you all, and I do hate you, but we didn't start this fight. <laughs> and uh, make a persuasion or deception check. Yes, uh, it will be deception, because that was for sure yes. a lie. Yeah, we absolutely okay. started this fight. Not 20 for a 26. <laughs> Can't intimidate him, but apparently I can do other things. <laughs> she goes, Lie out of your teeth. She goes, well, red caps are shit heels. Uh, I guess it's possible they wanted revenge, but knock it off. Which one of you has Barnabas's tooth? And they all start pointing to each other like this. <laughs> and This is how this started. <laughs> We're looking she, for Grubba. And she goes, Grubba took it. Whoever Any of them it. could have it. It doesn't give. It doesn't fucking matter. That's what Barnabas said. You little shit heels realize that I've got more of you coming in all the time, and I could easily just feed you to the fucking rancor. And they get all scared. I just side eye with my teammates because I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> <laughs> um, and she she uh is staring at him and they go one of them from the back kind of moves forward head kind of down and pulls this little pouch from around its neck and hands it up to her and she goes good get out of my sight and then she hands the uh, pouch to you guys to give to Barnabas she says I'm going to get back to preparing this ritual if I can ever get to it. And then when I when I accept the tooth from her, I just say, Maggie, you're a patch of darkness in the light. Thank you so much. No Do sweet talking here. I see tonight? through it. What? <laughs> Do we have a place to sleep right yet? Have we she already told here? you that you could sleep Okay. at the fort. Wherever. Yeah. I can remember. We'll just sleep by our car. Sleep well, in, that's good. in the that's car. Good Tooth back to Barnabas. He's he's probably missing it. <clears throat> you go up to Barnabas and he goes, "It's quite a, quite a commotion." Yeah, we got to kill a few red caps. It was a good time. Did you exactly find the tooth? We'll... Oh yeah. And I pull out the tooth and give it to him. Oh, right. thank do you. you. Do, you need me, do you need me to? You... I'm not a dentist, but I can probably. All right. Yeah. Sure. For a moment, Kairos, you, on fire, for a on moment, fire, Kairos you get really, really tired. <laughs> Hopefully as my, not right as, as haste wears off <laughs> about a minute after I started it. So Yeah, that's about the same time. <laughs> <laughs> so you kind of just like your hand gets close to the fire and you're not thinking about the fire for some reason. And then you kind of get tired. And if I remember correctly, you can't move for... A six I'm seconds. Stunned for a round. Yeah. yeah. That's what that's what Jake's doing. I stop for a moment <laughs> and I'm just kinda of sitting in the fire. Uh your hand's just outside of the fire, we'll say. Just outside the fire. Um and then uh Barnabas goes, Oh, I can do this though. Pulls out Mage Hand and grabs it oh. and goes Why are you moving things with fireballs? You can do that. Yeah, he was thinking he didn't have any uh, didn't have any limbs, and he, you know, it's handy. Good job. Um, and he goes, "Thank you so much." No problem. Now give us a smile. Let's see it now. Nary a whistle to be heard. Nope, no whistling. All right, thank you. You have a good one, Barnabas. See ya. Bye. 
Arrivederci. <laughs> so long. One. I'm kind of tired. He's one surprisingly jovial fellow for being down here. And for being at school that's constantly on fire. It yeah. seems like that would be a, a bummer of an existence, but he's making do. Good guy, that Barnabas. But Jerry like, is also very tired. Eh, I'm right there with you, boys. Let's uh, let's head back to Chuck and Clock, and we can just kind of set up our bedrolls next to the car. Sound reasonable? Yeah. We can go get the uh, Hezru things tomorrow. Chuck oh, says, yes. you're back. We're yeah, back. we yeah. Pins, You're here. Needles. Yeah, we work with them. They're a good good pair, I guess. Kind of weird. You get but, directions to where we're going. Oh yeah, they said we need to go just past the dune of irrevocable bloodlust. Oh, that handwriting is bad. Then hang a right on the sucky suck sack, and then we uh, need to head under the snot river of regret. And uh, from there, (laughs) I need to make a magic item now. (laughs) Snot river of regret is pretty good too. Yeah, that's also pretty solid. And uh, from there, they said you guys would be able to point the way down a tunnel. Oh yes, we know where that is. Don't you worry about that, sweetheart. And uh, Chucka goes on to tell you that he'll, when you're ready, and he pauses and says, uh, You guys are fucked up. <laughs> and Captain Obvious. Yeah, we were going to go to wrong. sleep. Okay. Oh, yeah, we need to sleep uh, first. Do that. And, uh, yeah, that's all I got. Do Fuck. that. And yeah. yeah, we go in the morning. That's right. I'll uh, I'll take first watch. You can... Okay. <laughs> nice. Cause I really feel like we need to watch down here. <laughs> whoever's a, right out there. whoever's <laughs> attuning to their stuff. Me. Okay. Jerry. I don't have anything to attune to. Oh, Jerry, you said. Jerry is. Yeah. Um, Jerry puts on the ring and then after he attunes to it um, tests it out and he goes invisible but he immediately is lit up with fairy fire of purple and green and orange and pink and so you just see this outline of this empty space <laughs> and he goes hey guys what do you think I think you look gorgeous. So Can you see me? Kind of. <laughs> He's glowing. Like, your faces are lit up. Like, it's very bright. Yeah. Yeah. Why is? Why are you glowing? I don't know. This is what the ring does. That's a yeah, terrible... Jarvis, I thought you said this was a ring of invisibility. When I do that, I don't glow. Uh, Rollercoast, did you see me glow when I did it last time? You know, nope. he... You know it's fairy fire on him. Oh, okay. So it's a ring of fairy fire. It's I'm a ring of fairy invisibility. No what it is. In the oh, D&D okay. Beyond, it's a visible ring of invisibility. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> Great. And when you attune to your wonderful longsword, uh-huh. go up and <laughs> go ahead and look up a uh, liar's longsword. Yeah. <laughs> Um, as long as we're attuning to things that are, who knows, risky, um, I'm going to also put on the random magical bracers that we found in the un- basement of the cathedral that we've been carrying around because Jarvis doesn't have a pearl. I want to know what they are. <laughs> They're very pretty, you see. In the basement? Do you we remember? did find those in a church. So We did find, well, in a tomb in a church. <laughs> So with fairy fire, room? do we all have to? So with fairy fire, do we all have to roll dexterity saving throws for that? No, I'm it's guessing just it on just casts on him. It says any creature in the area. Well, that's the spell. This oh, is just a cursed ring. So the I cursed see. ring casts invisibility and fairy it. fire on you at the same time. I get it. I get it. That's weird. Cool. It's, is it still a plus two? That's what came up when I searched it. Yeah, Jake. it's a plus two. <laughs> oh, nice. I told and you, you get. Fair. Uh.
I'm super happy with it already, and I haven't read the curse block yet, so maybe that's why. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Useless ring. It's not useless. It's 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 perfectly useful for a mummy lord who's trying to prevent people from stealing his shit. Mm. Oh no, I'm super into this. I'm absolutely I, so I love I, the sword so much. Jarvis I hope it doesn't knows, kill you. Well, we'll Jarvis see. <laughs> Jarvis knows that he has a scroll for remove curse. Does Jarvis think that that he could get rid of those bad effects? He could try. Make a intelligence check. Fourteen. Could try. Is remove curse a wizard spell? It. Oh shit! It's the one I have in parentheses. Not wizard. The, ah! answer, <laughs> the answer to that, sir, is, is no. no. You should give me that scroll. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. Can you use it? I'm looking. Not yet. It's cleric paladin. Yeah, Where my did you cleric. find those fucking bracers? All right, I'm actually I am gonna give that to Rolikos because it's cleric we paladin warlock and oh wait. Oh yeah. It says wizard. They're bracers of defense. Wait, you told me when I got it, it said not wizard, but then according to roll twenty. I did not tell you. I told you to look it up. Uh, maybe I looked it up and something else told me because I put in parentheses not wizard for some reason. I would not tell you to do that. I would tell you to look it up because I don't know whether it's on your wizard list. I do not have a perfect memory for all spellcasters yeah, it is a list. It is a wizard. I don't know why I wrote that. You mean it's not on your DM screen? No, it's not. Next to the pyramid hit points? At least cool. I haven't found it yet. This thing is very <laughs> massive. It's huge. I haven't even. I can't even scroll through everything. Hey, guys. Guys, check this out. This is the weirdest thing. So these, these sweet bracers, right? I've been wearing them for a while now, and they feel awesome. But the second I put my shield on, they feel normal. Then I put the shield down. Oh, there's like magic coursing through them. I pick the shield up, and it's gone. I'm real bummed about that. So what Jerry, do you want to wear them? Yeah! I give them to Jerry. <laughs> Jerry puts them on. Oh, these are cool! Bracers of so defense. Bracers of defense to Jerry. Uh, Jake, do you want to add these items to his character sheet? So I cannot. Oh, oh yeah. Shiza. Well, for the remainder, remember that he has plus two AC. <laughs> okay. Just add it real quick. As long as he's not using his shield, which he sometimes does. But now we'll never have to again. Hooray. Wow, he should have been wearing those for a long time. <laughs> yeah, I remember thinking now that we're talking about it when... Uh, you guys found it, and he didn't take them right away. Because, uh, yeah. I need to find something that gives me plus two to my IC. I'm so squishy, squishy. You've made armor. You're fine. I know. Still squishy with the major armor, though. Did What's you your AC? Yourself. Did your AC go up? 15. Uh, well, I'm going to have to reload the page. Yes. Okay. I oh, know. Actually, I'm sorry. Fourteen. And uh, as you guys are doing all this, no. the spell fades for Jerry on the invisibility, and his body comes back, but he's still lit up. Oh. Uh, Jerry. Jerry's I'm pretty. Jarvis. Jarvis. How long is this spell supposed to last? is thinking and Jarvis remembers that it lasts for about a minute. Okay. I guess we'll wait a while. So you're using remove curse or no? I'm sorry. No, I'm going to I'm going to um um copy it into my spellbook. Okay. All right. And Jerry's just going to sit there and glow. Jerry, I'm trying Jerry, to sleep, man. Can you turn okay. your light off? <laughs> what if Jerry takes off I the can't. ring? Uh, he takes it off, tries to untune to it, nothing happens. Ah, oh, crap. Well, Jerry glows now. 
Can we put a blanket on him? And Jerry is Cover igno- him up. when you put the blanket on him, he's like seems distant as he's getting another call. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> but you guys can't hear it, so cuz Jerry's not here. What is what and does Jarvis he, know about? Oh, sorry. And he goes, uh, that was a weird one. It sounded like my mom. That's strange. She's selling me persimmons. They are delicious. In hell? Infernal persimmons, but they're persimmons, oh. and I love persimmons. Well, maybe not infernal ones. Ask, oh, I uh, love it. I love persimmons. Ask Kairos about the alcohol he had. I he starts getting like angry and upset i love persimmons okay you love persimmons i get it hey hey did you buy any did i could i have bought them somewhere did i miss out you just got a phone call you uh, oh from like them. you could have bought some yeah they wanted a, a number or something like a, a really long 12 digit number you should like have gave him a number. Did you give him a, a number? And a three-digit code as well. And then a five-digit number. What did you guess? You gotta at least guess. I should have guessed. I fucked up. God damn it. Persimmons, man. You left persimmons right there on the table. Well, maybe they'll come back. Hopefully. We should get you some caller ID, then you can call them back. What is caller ID? I don't know. It's a thing a wizard told me about once. You know about this, Jarvis? Caller ID? Mm, nope. Oh, it must have like been a, a powerful wizard. message. Well, he said he was. Thomas Edison? <laughs> I don't think that was his name. That's not the guy who created the telephone. It was uh, Alexander Graham Bell? Bell. Yeah. What? No? That does, that's Thomas good. Edison was the light bulb. Bell was yeah. the phone. <laughs> Right. Um, so does Jarvis know why he's still glowing? Or how long he's going to glow for? You think it's a curse. Okay. <laughs> Hence all the remove curse talk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I was just... I, I, I was confused because I'm looking at, like, the spell, and I don't... I, I couldn't if, find a curse version of it, so I was confused. If yeah, you could identify I, the ring... Yeah, might... I, 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 if I could, but I can't. Yep. <laughs> Uh, I wonder, wonder, we we oh, already God. went over the fact that I'm the worst wizard in the world. We, and, we know. And that's two. Maggie's got. You've had two fails fails with Maggie uh, at the end of this day. We've had three successes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. So we're up. Yep, we are up, and and she's unless, probably pretty well versed in curses. Unless she strikes me as the type. Unless the mummy lord and the pyramid count Come as back. two. <laughs> Oh. True. And then if the Mummy Lord comes back, <laughs> hopefully later. we won't be around. <laughs> that's later after we've used our credit with her. <laughs> this is this is before your credit card gets <laughs> blocked from l- late uh-huh. payment, and you're, you're just spending all of it before it. Yep, yep, making a bunch of purchases before declaring bankruptcy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, um, but yeah, we're gonna try to sleep. Okay. <laughs> so you, it's not... very difficult to to sleep. Uh, you barely get through without taking some either hit point loss or um, some sort of detrimental effect. Uh, you think if you would have slept out in the wastes outside of this area? You might have an effect like that. Maybe not exhaustion, fully exhaustion, but you might like not recover all your hit points, or might be a little slower, or you might have some problems with intelligence ability checks. Uh, but here, you manage to get a full long rest, and uh, a full normal long rest. And Jarvis is going to use his fey, since he has fey ancestry, um, and only has to sleep for four hours. He's going to take the last uh, four. four hours, the second four hours, to work on copying a spell. Okay. You have paper for that? I do. I have a little bit left.
So today I just learned that my extra attack from Cleric is not a channel divinity. It's just a thing I get to do one time a day. Cool. Which means I also get to use my channel divinity. What's your channel? Also- uh, guided strike when you make Bonus an attack. Uh, when you make an attack roll, you can use channel divinity to gain plus ten bonus oh, right. to the roll after the roll, but not before knowing the result. Cool. So, nice. so we do get our long rest fully. Yes. You said? Yes. Uh, first thing I'm doing when I wake up is casting. Wait, first, do I still have reduced max HP? Uh, let me double check. Which I got from yeah, the mummy, the mummy lord. I believe I think Jerry you do, has some because you might need to re- remove curse. I don't know if Jerry's HP on here is accurate with his reduced or not. Probably is. And if it is, and we do get it back, I don't know what it goes up to. So I can't click on anything. I think he went 13 points down. Because we both went 13 points down. I remember. Yeah, it's still there. Okay. And Um, for bookkeeping's sake... uh, For every 24 hours that elapse... So I don't want to do this like in the middle of the day. I'd rather mm-hmm. just do it at the beginning of the day. Uh, your hit point maximum goes down again. Um, first thing I do when I wake up is I try casting Lesser Restoration on myself. Does that do anything for this curse? No. No. Got it. Well, that's... I'm going to spend also now that we're all up. If are we are, are we doing anything right now, you guys? Hold on, I, Gary. I, I can. Uh, your hit point maximum goes down by twelve. Guys, I don't uh, feel great this morning. And Jerry's. So, I'm aware that they're both cursed, right? Not just Jerry. Uh, yeah, they probably told you. Cool. Um, if you guys give me another hour before we go do anything, I'm I'm almost done copying this spell. And I can get rid of these curses. I don't feel very healthy, so I'm fine taking a breather for another hour. Work up the energy for the day. <clears throat> oh, you know what? I'm thinking, can I, if I learn the spell and I copy it into my spell book, I still have to wait till my next long rest to make it active, huh? I don't know. Is that how it works? Because I can only switch my... Because it doesn't go directly into... It just goes into my spell book. And to you take things out of my spell book, can't I only do that on a long rest? Technically? Well, I'll say you have it... Um, if, we're, if you're doing this all during your long rest... I'll say you okay, have it prepared. It would be... Okay. That makes sense. Okay. <laughs> then I'm going to finish the last hour. And that's the last of my supplies. And I now have Remove Curse, and it is a third level, so I can cast it on. And I assume Jerry's still glowing. Jerry's still growing and glowing. Growing, okay. Um, I will use it. I will cast it on both of them. Did Did your Jerry page reset? Can you reload it? That it did. What's your get... max hit, hit points? 54 now. Okay, good. What did you say there, Gary? Um, well, I was trying to find why... Oh, there's invisibility. I was like, why can't I not unprepare you? Um... Remove curse. There we go. So remove curse. Well, 
dun, dun, dun. At your touch, all curses affecting one creature or object end. The, if the object is cursed, the object is a cursed magic item. Its curse remains, but the spell breaks its owner's attunement. The object so can be removed or discarded. What are you looking up? Re the remove curse spell. It removes curses. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. What's all What's confusing about it? No, is it? I'm. <laughs> I'm trying to help. Because it says I was trying to understand. It breaks its owner's attunement to the object, but it doesn't. Like you can still use the other effects of it, right? Other than the it curse. doesn't. It doesn't end the curse on the item. No, it breaks his uh... attunement. Yeah. Okay, so he, I can't get rid of the curse on the item. Correct. No. Got it. Okay. Well, at least I can make them not be shitty. So I'll cast remove curse first on Kairos. Okay. For the mummy's curse only, because there's no other curses affecting Kairos right now. Other than uh, the that are... all curses affecting one creature end. Oh, just, uh, that's fine. yeah. I don't. I don't put the sword down, so it's. It's Your fine. hit point maximum goes back up, but you don't, <laughs> you don't uh, regain. Um, yeah, don't regain the points, but yeah. the max goes up. That's fine. The so, curse still uh, remains on the sword, obviously. Jerry, it's your choice. Do you want to keep glowing, or do you want to get rid of that ring? Uh, get rid of the ring, I would say. Does do Jerry want to keep glowing? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I mean, he does, but not at the expense of not being able. He to glows off, naturally. Let's be realistic here. We should probably <laughs> wait for there Dave to get back yeah. and ask and him, him if he the... wants. Well, what we'll say is it breaks it. it. He your takes guys it off. Choice to give him the ring. That's true. He takes it off, but he keeps the ring. He doesn't throw or, it. Or he might or, put it back on. Or we can yeah. let him glow for the day, and then Gary doesn't burn another third level spot. He, uh, Jerry also would like his hit points back. Yeah, I mean that's the more important. Oh, part, so Jerry lost hit points from this. So he can not. he can continue wearing it, and we'll leave that up to Dave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but Jerry would like his hit points back very much. Cool. I he forgot just, he got. I forgot he got. He that doesn't back. get his hit points. He gets his max back. Maximum. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. All right, and I can cast move curse on Jerry as well. I just Jerry had less hit points than Ky or than Rollercoaster, and that's embarrassing. Yeah, that's when I was like, when I lost another 12, I was like, oh, guys, I'm not feeling good anymore. <laughs> this is a problem now. The glow goes away. Well, that cost me 150 gold in supplies. It <laughs> cost me nothing, but it felt yeah. great. You did great. Update. You were, go you were a great wizard. You did I, did a my, good job. I did my job. I was actually going to learn um, Tiny Hut thought... until you guys went and cursed yourselves. That is a really useful spell. Yeah. Uh, so, how to no, do that later now? Honestly, this is great because I thought I'd be able to. I thought Hor would have my back on this one, and uh, turns out he didn't. So, retribution. Thanks, Jarvis. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I probably fucked up somewhere. <laughs> uh, so, Dave hadn't changed his max HP, so mm -hmm. I guess it's supposed to be at 64. Oh, okay. But it should be at 54, not 64. Well, now it should be at 64. No, he lost the max, but it doesn't go up. Like. Yeah, yeah, but his max should be 64. The max is 64, right. The current is not. Okay. See, it's 54. That's fine. Got it. You didn't put your current hit points up, Kairos, right? No, I'm at 33 of 58. Okay. I'm 25 points down. From you have two. less hit points than I do. Good God. You're at 25? You have less well, than I, I do. Used like a, I used a bunch yeah. of rolls. Um, now I've been taking averages, but turns out my rolls were below average. <laughs> as of a couple levels ago. Um, and we both have DE8s, I think, right? Or D... We both have the same one. Rangers have, have D10s. Yeah, yeah, so do Paladins. So we both have D10s. So it's it's reasonable well, that Rangers have My last D10s. two were D8s. <laughs> But yeah. Mm. Uh, Roz is just trying to brag. Yeah, I gotcha. <laughs> I just, I was more, I was more surprised that our frontline heavy armor guy has less HP than a cat. Well, same, same die. Yeah. <laughs> 
And I bet your con isn't a dump stat necessarily, so. Uh, there, there's some points in there. Yeah, so there you go. We <laughs> work with the same numbers here, buddy. <laughs> but All right. You have a much harder time hitting me. <laughs> True. Uh, hey, anyway. So you guys uh, mark off another rations? Yep, yep, yep. Dunzo. We said it was what five cat treats. <laughs> I don't remember. I I think that's what it was. Sure. Kind of looks like there's an eclipse over your head, Roz. <laughs> that actually looks really cool. It yeah, there's super cool. There's one tiny light on top of the fan that's still working right now. It looks real cool. But the rest of them, not at all. <laughs> I wish my room looked like that with an eclipse. <laughs> Just need to break my light. Um, what's that? What's Nothing's what? happening. It's dimming. It got really dark in here, but my screen's really bright, so you can't really tell. Oh. Anyway. Cool. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. We are rusted. <laughs> the assassin in Gary's house again. Uh, <laughs> intruder or whatever it said. <laughs> oh my god, intruder alert! Or intruder detected her. Yeah, I don't remember. It was great though. You guys are like, can you turn your video back on? Okay, <laughs> murdered. Uh, you guys wake in the morning and you eat, and Chucka and Clunk are waiting for you. Or Should you we... can go see if Maggie's ready. Yeah, should we go I mean, do Maggie? I, check on I almost Maggie. feel like we should check on Maggie yeah. before we leave in case I something some, happens in between. <laughs> I need more paper and things, so and I need a pearl because you guys keep giving me shit. Yeah, it sounds. You like might not be... have. Uh, you might not have been cursed on that second thing. Had I have had that pearl? Pearl? I mean, maybe. Pearl? Uh, yeah. Let's go talk to Maggie. Pearl? Let's go look for Maggie. Come on, Lulu. You got to come for this one. Got to get your memories back. Okay, you head to Maggie's, and she's got a room prepared. And she says, I just finished. You all want to do this now? Or do you want to uh, wait? And I know you're doing something for Chucka. Is it going to take a long time? It'd probably take about ten minutes or so. Oh, we could just do it now. Yeah, let's knock this out. Okay. Okay. Lulu, you be strong. I have faith. I'm scared. Oh. <laughs> uh, so, Maggie, Mad Maggie, has some pillows in the center of this prepared ritual circle with all kinds of things, bones and dried things and uh, bones and mostly bones. And there's... Uh, motions Lulu to sit in the middle of these black pillows and Lulu sits and kind of lays down and then uh, Mad Maggie comes in with two skulls in your hands and says I don't think my sisters will mind if if uh, we have them join us don't you think? She sets the two skulls down in the circle and she requests that you all uh, hold hands and you're all holding hands and she begins the ritual um, you start to sense a telepathic bond forming between uh, all of you, Lulu, and uh, the hag. Uh, you sense a brilliant flash of light and then complete darkness. A tingling sensation sweeps over your body. Vibrant rainbows appear in front of you. As the rich radiant light of a hundred dancing rainbows slowly dissolves, warm sunlight fills the area. Within that space, Lulu flies lazily in a lush meadow at the shoulder of a beautiful, absolutely gorgeous blindfolded angel. As the pair strolls through the tall green grass, the voice of the hag fills your mind. Push through this fucking vision. It only represents what Lulu wishes was true. We need to see more. And make, I need everyone to make a intelligence saving throw. Uh, everyone's within 10 feet of me, right? Yeah. Plus threes for everyone. 
which oh, makes mine a plus two. Twenty-three. Thank you. Fourteen. Twenty-two for Rollercoaster. Seven for Jerry. Jerry's gonna take some psychic damage. He's good at that. Takes He's five psychic damage. <laughs> five. Next thing, as the beautiful scene fades away, a flame-encircled battlefield appears on a barren hellscape at the center of the circle. Lulu and the angel lie unconscious and prone, horribly injured. You see yourselves standing in defense of Lulu and the angel, facing outward as six small spine-covered devils creep closer. In the distance, a formation of battered and retreating human warriors disappear through a portal. You think you see the symbol that, uh, the symbol of Hell Riders that you're familiar with from your traveling with one, uh, and they're disappear disappearing through a portal. The devils, hisses the hag. You must defeat those devils. Roll initiative. An interactive vision. Kairos. Nine. Jarvis. Twelve. Jerry. Uh, do, 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 uh, ten. Rollercoast. Nine. Everything that we had before is fair game? Like outside of in the real world? Mm hmm Spells, items, everything? Yeah. Cool. Beans. Yeah. <laughs> Spells. You're asking me if it's items. You're asking me if it's fair game. I meant, can we use them? Yeah. You can use. You can use them. I'm not saying they'll work. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which is he's what you saying, were really asking. He's not saying they won't work, though. I'm, I'm also well, not I, saying they won't. I was work. asking if I had them on, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, okay. Do, do, do. All right. So, Spine Devil Numero Uno is going to go and is going to multi attack one with its bite and one with its fork and two with its two attacks one with its bite, one with its fork, or two with its tail spine. So, it's going to do <laughs> one with its bite and, bite and one with its fork. Good sir. What is the Spine Devil's name? Uh, Phil. Thank you. Lee. <laughs> Phil Who Lee. is he attacking? He is attacking Jerry. Jerry. It's a 13 nope. and a, a 10. So no. Nope. Jarvis. Jarvis does his thing and gives the Kairos the haste. Okay. Next and fine devil. How far away am I from current spine devils? You're all equal, equidistant. You're standing in a circle, defending. Uh, they're all closing in on you from... Yeah. I'm going to get in between my party. Okay, so you're going to stand behind someone? Yes, behind Kairos. Okay. All right. Uh, I forgot to mage armor. <laughs> You can do it now if you you don't have, use your action though. So I already right. yeah I can't yeah. yeah I yeah okay I'll do it next turn it's all good. Um. Next spine devil is going to shoot its tail spines at the hiding wizard who will give a plus two to your AC because you're hiding behind someone giving you cover. First one is a 7 to hit, and the next Nick. one is a 21. That definitely hurts. That is uh, 4 piercing damage and 6 fire damage. Mm, let that through. And he's dead. No. <laughs> no. Jerry. <laughs> Uh, Jerry would like to bonus action rage. Yep. And go after the closest one. Is that the one that shot him? There, sure. <clears throat> sure. He's going after the closest one with his mole. 
they're all encircling you, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, 19 for the first attack to hit. Yes. 19 again. Yes. Does he add anything to his damage when he's raging? Is it 2? His proficiency, I think, is that's plus 3. <clears throat> oh, plus 2, it says. Oh, it's still plus 2, so it's not proficiency. Yeah. Okay. Strength, I think, right? <clears throat> No, it's just a flat. No, it's just a flat bonus. Oh. I just thought it matched your proficiency, but I guess it doesn't. Oh yeah, there is a like a rage column in column. the column. Yeah. Yep, <laughs> it's picturing Let's, the same thing. Fourteen damage on the first hit. Fourteen damage on the second hit. One spine devil poofs down and dead. Dead, it's dead. That'll be his turn. Spine Devil, next one. Is going to shoot at Rolikos with its spines. A 20 and a 22. Uh, both hit. Uh, so 12 piercing damage and 7 fire damage. Okay. That was Kyros. at Rollercoast, not Jerry, correct? Correct, Rollercoast. Okay. Kairos. Um, I'm going to run up to Richie Cunningham, one of the other spine yep, devils. Yeah, I knew exactly um, who you are talking about. Perfect. Um, my long sword, I'm going to use my bonus action. It starts humming with uh, some sweet, sweet energy as I hit Please it. Please roll a one. Please roll a one. I didn't. Damn. Uh, let's see. So now it's uh, now it's a plus nine. So that's an eighteen. Yes. And that is yeah, I guess that's right. Okay. So that's a uh, eleven, mm -hmm. and then it also does. Does this just do it, or does he have a save? Check. I think it does it. It does. No save. Uh, it does nine points of thunder damage as a loud peal of thunder cracks across the battlefield. Um, he's knocked ten feet away and knocked prone. Is this so from the is, weapon? Uh, this is a thunderous smite. Oh. It's not from the weapon. This is a spell. That was my bonus action. Oh, okay. Um, then, so that's first hit. He's Knocks dead. him back. He's dead. Oh man, I wanted a sweet follow up and just smash him into the ground. Uh, well, I'll run up to uh, his buddy, his brother, uh, Teddy Cunningham. Ted. William. I'll just hit him. So that did uh, new numbers. Sorry, guys. 22 to hit, and that does nine points of damage. Uh huh. Haste attack, hit him again. That does. It's a better to hit, 23 to hit, and that does 12 points of damage. Almost dead. And that is all I wrote. Rollercoast. Uh, I'm going to shoot at the one that shot me. Three attacks, all sharpshooter. All right. Uh, first one is a 21. Let me roll damage. Second one is 24. Okay. In case I kill this thing. Uh, 21 damage on the first hit. Not dead. 18 damage on the second hit. Dead. All right, and then whichever the next one is gets the droid ambusher attack for a 22. Okay. Dead. Oh, no, that was a uh, to oh. hit. Sorry. This is probably gonna do way more than that though. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> yeah, tw oh, that was 24 damage, but yeah. Dead. Okay. And uh, that'll be it. So, as you knock out four of them, the battlefield fades to black, and the next sequence begins. A landscape filled with thick black smoke, and the smells of death and decay expands to encompass everything. The small devils that survived the previous dream kneel before you 
and offer to serve you if you spare their lives. What do each of you do? These guys. I don't know. Is, uh, we killed some. We could save some. That'd make horror happy. And they'd serve us. Yeah, but they're spine devils. I mean, yeah, that's a, that's a small fry. We should get something bigger, I feel like. I don't know. Let's just keep one. The one that attacked me is still alive, correct? I don't know. I'm not really keeping track of that. <laughs> I believe I'm it not... is. So I'm not happy with that one, but... what? I'm just going to go to each of you. Rollercoast, what do you do? Uh, I shoot one in the face. Okay, roll your damage. Natural 20. It's dead. <laughs> Jarvis? I firebolt um, another one. Okay. And that is tw mod 20 to hit? Yeah. You guys are rolling real well. For now. Uh, 15 damage. Okay. It's dead. What's that? Oh, I got that a message. That's Discord sound. Mm -hmm. uh, so this sequence fades to black, and the next thing you see is you wander a vast barren landscape of utter devastation. Black sludge rises rapidly out of the ground, enveloping your feet and gripping you tightly, overwhelming you with a horrible sense of loss. You hear Mad Maggie's disembodied voice say, Don't let the sludge consume you. You must push push through her defenses. She, mu she must look. And uh, first I need all of you to roll a wisdom of saving throw. Plus three. Sixteen. Fifteen. Mod twenty for Rollercoast, three for Jerry. <laughs> Poor Jerry. Jerry. Yeah, he's his saved. Not doing so hot. I'm sorry, it's technically very... he'd be a five. <laughs> it's very similar to when he rolls himself. He's twenty eight psychic damage. Oh, oh, oh. As the sense of grief and loss hit him. Now I need all of you to make a Strength, strength, athletics check or a dexterity acrobatics check to Fuck. possibly get out of the sludge. Not one for an eight. Do we still get a modifier on that or no? From Kairos? Yeah. No. No. no? My, the, my modifier is just saving throws. This oh, okay. Is an ability check. It sounds. Oh, like. right. Got yeah. it. It's Eleven oh. for me for acrobatics. Okay. Fourteen roller coast. Twenty-four Jerry. Now make a constitution saving throw uh, to expunge the sludge that you've swallowed fighting. I have advantage on those. You and this is I think. Mm -hmm. Or no, I think it's... Is it concentration or is it constitution that I have? I have a transmutation stone. I forget. I gotta look. Oh, I don't know. I believe it's on concentration checks, which happens to be a constitution save. Yeah. So that's it's like a square is a rectangle, but a rectangle is not a square. Ooh. That's not One true. I don't things. believe that. Crazy. I choose not so, to believe it. Proficiency in constitution saving throws. So I get... Plus three. Do, do. Um, yes. Uh, well, that's not going to matter. And this does get another plus three for my aura. I don't think that's going to help. Um, Ten. 11. Eight. 11. 8 for me. Uh, you take 13 psychic damage, Jarvis. And you take 9 psychic damage. Got it. 18 and 27 for Rollercoaster Jerry. You guys are fine. I need those of you who didn't succeed on the strength athletics or dexterity acrobatics checks to make another one of those 
<clears throat> I assume an eight failed. Yes, yes, yes. Did I get a fourteen pass or no? No, it didn't. Oh, then I failed too. I got a sixteen this time. Pass. Twenty four for roller coast. Uh, twenty for mod for Jerry. Nine for Jarvis. Thirteen psychic damage, Jarvis. I can't shield any of this, right? No. Because those aren't attacks. Yeah, figured. Jarvis is looking rough as a motherfucker. All of you who made the check, which I believe is everyone except Jarvis. Yeah. Uh, you get free from the sludge and can use your action to help him if you'd like. Oh, he still failed it? Yep. Jerry will yeah. pull him. Okay, so you have advantage on this next check. Really? Um, 15. Just the number you needed there, Thank Jarvis. God. Without Jerry's help. I would, uh, yeah, I was. it would have been a 14 without Jerry's help. Not going to do as, it. And as Jerry like gets you out of the sludge and, you know, I grab your arm to kind of help you the last little bit. And as I grab your arm, I uh, pump you with eight points of HP. Congratulations. Ooh. Nothing happens. Oh, you don't get fuck. it. Do I still expend the lay on hands points? Uh, no. Okay. <clears> oh, <throat> uh, guys, whore's not like... here. Just a heads up, whore's not here. It's, uh, I don't feel good. <laughs> So that, I that, don't feel good either. That <laughs> dream story of it's today. More of, it's more of your head hurting, Jarvis, not like your traditional. Oh, low. psychic damage, you said, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so this dreamscape uh, fades away, and the next one is Lulu resting on a black cushion of vaporous black air. Uh, <clears throat> It's an inky void that she rests on. She's unconscious and alone. A beam of brilliant white light shining down upon her. Next to Lulu, a large gleaming brass spyglass rests atop an ornately carved tripod. Lulu awakens and looks peacefully around her, seeing the spyglass. She approaches it, pressing one eye against the eyepiece. Lulu then steps back suddenly, eyes wide. Mouth open, her face alight with excitement, and she cries out, The sword! Sword, I know where it is! And, um... Yeah. Uh, the dream fades away after she says that, and you guys find yourself back in Fort Knucklebone. <clears throat> in the same position you started the dream, uh, dreamscape, in this ritual circle... And Lulu gets up and is very excited to know where it is. Lulu, you were, you saw it? You saw... You know where to go? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Well, that's a relief. Maggie, did you get what you needed? You didn't get to see Zariel getting beat up, but... You see Maggie just kind of rolling back, just like, oh, so geez. satisfied. She's... Good. And it's like, if there's a cigarette around, she would be... <laughs> <sighs> She's super into it. Uh, and she she just kind of mutters her, her clearly evident pleasure <clears throat> from that sequence. And um, she says, well, that was... Is that as good for you as it was for me? Uh, I really don't think so as much as i enjoyed it i know i figured you'd say that <laughs> i mean it wasn't bad no no it was good i'd even say but i i can't honestly say i enjoyed it it's, it was as good for me as it was for you <laughs> but anyway um thank you you're welcome i think you now need to go help chucka or was that something you're still gonna do Oh, yeah, yeah, we're definitely going to help Chukka. Before we go help Chukka, uh, any luck on finding a, a pearl? Oh, uh, I didn't need to find it. I know exactly where I have a pearl. <laughs> uh, I just 
need to know what you might like. You know, food is mighty hard to come by in the hells. Most of it will poison you or outright kill you. So, is that something you're wanting to bargain for? Or I can give you soul coins. Or I cannot give you soul coins and give you a pearl. Um, what well, I mean, if are you asking in return? Is it like a choose one, or is it like a you need us to do I'll, something? I'm willing to give these? you three soul coins right now for the work you've done, and <clears throat> two weeks worth of rations that will taste like shit, but will provide the nutritional value you're looking for. Or two I can give rations you each. Yes. Or I can give you a pearl. And the rations. Well, uh, so here's what I'm thinking. Um, I just discovered that I can also identify magic items <laughs> myself. So she looks at you the way I'm looking at you. <laughs> I say it very believably. Um, so I, uh, I'm pretty sure we should go with the soul coins because that seems like a good deal yeah, plus dude. jerry doesn't have a soul coin and I, f I feel bad for the guy i mean we've got to give him one right yeah i could get at least 50 more arrows <laughs> at least would you be able to throw in maybe some uh paper and ink with that deal perhaps do you want to give up your rations i'll give up a little bit of rations so maybe one week worth of rations for how much paper and ink? Well... You wizards always are so needy. I mean... I'm trying to help these guys, and I'm kind of out of paper. And they're have you giving ever, me shit for not having a pearl, so... Have you, know. you ever thought about hurting them and torturing them? No, no, they're friends. That's lame. I've thought about it. Good. Oh, I'm not gonna do it. I said I thought about it. Wow. You haven't thought about it? I next feel like, time I, I feel think like that about, makes you the weird one, not Next me. time I think about making you stronger, I'll make someone else stronger. I just thought it was normal. Wait, hold on. Poll time. Rolicos. Have you thought of that? No. Jerry? No. Somebody has to answer for Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, guys. All right. That's uh, my bad. <laughs> wow. I, I thought it was friends. normal. I, we are. What, Why do you want to hurt us? I don't want to hurt you. Why wouldn't he want to hurt you? I said I thought about it. This is it's, hell. Have again, you always thought that way? You, that you have not thought about <clears throat> it. Have you always thought that way? I haven't thought yeah. that way, Lulu says. Of course you haven't. You're a delight. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so are you. See, she gets it. So what will it be, Mr. Wizard? Well, how much paper was she going to give me? She asked you how much you wanted. Uh, well, um, a couple spells I want to learn. I need, like, you know. I'll give you one, uh, one spell worth of paper and ink for one week of rations. I think that's fair. All right. So three soul coins. Two weeks worth of food rations for everyone except our wizard friend. I'll give up uh, one of mine, one of my weeks as well. For what? Uh, if he gets uh, two spells worth of paper. Wow. Mm -hmm. we'll make First, it. you want to kill me and then or hurt me and then you're helping. I like it. That's <laughs> how oh. horror works, friend. All right, so. Two of you are getting two weeks. Two of you are getting one week. You get... What level spells of paper-ish? Is it like a third level spell worth? It's all the, it's, it's all the same. Cool. DM hand-waving says I you like get this. to pick two spells. <laughs> I like this. Thank you. Seven days of rations. Cool. Thank you, Kairos. I appreciate that. Well, you uh, did remove that curse. Partially in part by using the last of your paper, so... <laughs> this is true. This is how whore works. You're welcome. Thank you, whore. And then, uh... 
<laughs> and then we got three soul coins, so Jerry's gonna carry one because he doesn't have one yet. <laughs> and then, uh. I uh, should carry all the soul coins because I make the best decisions with them. And you do have a bag of holding. Let's put another one in the bag of holding. So there should be two in the bag of holding now. Yep. And you're not carrying one right now, Roller Coast. We just have the ones in your bag of holding. Yeah, I, well, I mean, I'm not. Well, I just assumed the person. one I had. You know, I'm not, it's not, I don't think they should be on your person, but I'm the only one that has the option for it not to be. You're the only one. <laughs> that's what I was just about to say. Like, you're the only one who could do that. You're also the only person that's, you know, given away a soul coin for 50 arrows. This is why I said I should have them all. How many arrows do you think I can get? 150 at least we got it back it was fine it was fine it was it was a trade it was, it, we worked it, it was fine did we ever talk to maggie about the pyramid staying nope, nope. and okay. we're not gonna <laughs> speaking of pyramids <laughs> <Damn it>. Jarvis. <laughs> yeah maggie we're uh, speaking of pyramids right we we took care of the problem inside that you were concerned about there you was took care one. of it you you cleansed the area of the mummy lord so fully it's cleansed. not going to come back. We not at all, I, no, ma'am. There was Make no magical exception check. Well, I, I would say, love to. Do you have? Uh, were you already proficient? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was also adding. The, <laughs> I was also adding the fact to that that I did detect magic and I tried to look for it. So I was also telling her as well. So that what? That I used my detect magic to see if there was any remnants of Oops. mummy left in the area you weren't doing it for that you were doing it for magic items actually i was technically doing it for both i was trying to do it if there was to see if there was any mummy remnants left and the money mummy remnants I, I would I have been that. in the would have been outside yeah i took the stuff we took the stuff outside to identify or to, to cast. i was thinking it was inside oh no i i was not going to sit there for a it long does... period of time in a, in a pyramid <laughs> by it myself doesn't... It doesn't matter. You wouldn't have been able to tell with detect magic whether a mummy would be there. Does she know that? Yes. Damn. Okay. Well, then I don't help you. Got it. Um, so that is an 18 for mine. She goes... I don't believe you did. I don't think you know what that means. To rid a place of a mummy lord. Well, we hit it, and we kept hitting it, and then it vanished, like disintegrated into dust. I'm pretty sure it's toast. I've smashed what do you a lot say of in you my go day. do? You go help out Chucka and Clonk, and I'll take care of the pyramid and the mummy problem. We'll call it even. Well, I thought that we'd sure. Uh... I don't think there is a problem, but if there is one and you take care of it, then uh, sure, we're, yep, deal. You don't think there's a problem with the pyramid being sticking out of my <laughs> fort? No, I was telling you, Maggie, it's the only pyramid I've seen in hell. Belongs to Fort Knucklebones now. And, well, I, mean, I can put a flesh-covered pyramid on your body, and it would be the only one here. Would you like that? A no, um, and B. But it I would be the like... only one in hell. I'm pretty I, sure. I'm not so sure about that personally. Just I've, I've been, been here longer than you. Definitely, I've only been here a few days. But looking around the landscape, you see a flesh-covered pyramid in hell. It's kind of like I'll mm, be part, creative. Part it won't be a cold. plain flesh-covered pyramid. <laughs> it will be decorated in certain ways. I would not do you wrong in that respect. No, I deeply appreciate that. So I just, you, I'm just saying, you wouldn't be too one? surprised if you see a flesh pyramid in hell. You see, you know, what you about see a this fourth beautiful arm? pyramid in hell. Uh, I don't think that'd be too. Uh, that'd be handy. Wait, fourth arm? You, a third and a fourth. Oh, cool. I mean, we met really somebody are. with four arms one time. <laughs> I mean, I have three <laughs> weapons and I can only hold one of them at a time, so. So you want a f you want two extra arms? I just I didn't know that was an option. I, I, I just have to say think about yes. It. I would give up a week's worth of rations if he <laughs> two more arms. Why don't Why don't we help Chuck and Clock? I need to think about this because this is a sounds I think too we have good a to deal. be true. <laughs> I think we have a deal. Maybe. No. 
All right, wh- what is the cost, though? What do you mean? It costs the week's worth of rations. Oh, yeah, yeah for me to done. get two, two extra arms? Yes. Uh, is it going to hurt? No. It's not going to hurt me. Uh, let's just quickly help Chuck and Clonk. You, you, I assume you need to prepare extra arms for me. No, this is I something don't have I, can, I can make it happen pretty quickly. Is it permanent? And they'll be like fully functioning vestigial limbs? They will be fully functioning. Permanent. Arms? <laughs> you're, 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 I gotta be honest, Maggie, you're choosing a weird set of words to not say. <laughs> and you're repeating things back to me. <laughs> yes, it will be, it will be arms. <laughs> Fully functional vestigial arms with hands. She says with fully. Hands. She says fully functional vestigial arms with hands. It's I, check. Thank you. Okay. Someone saying that. I didn't oh, of course want I to. thought. Oh. Of course I thought of it. I wasn't gonna say. I'm sorry, Kairos. Hey. I'm not. <laughs> you think she's telling the truth? Okay. <laughs> Sounds like arms. Kairos. Now's not the get, time to be wait. a bitch, Kairos. I get to keep these two, right? Yes. Because I've been through a lot with these two. I'd like to keep using them. She starts approaching you very slowly and smiling wide. I mean, you're only in hell once, right, boys? Oh, boy. Okay. <clears throat> she takes wait. out her long... Hold on one sec. Any, and, and, just gotta ask you. Any fine print here? I mean, these these arms aren't going to be, like, beholden to you, are they? I get to control them? Yes. There's so fucking catch, I can't wait. Okay. Let's do it. I'm ready. Her Come on, Maggie. big, like, ten-inch long <laughs> finger comes out, and she touches you on the forehead, and you fall asleep. And you're on the ground, and the other of you, Lulu's very worried, and the other of you see her go up to his horns and somehow (laughs) just unscrew them like they're meant to do that or something. (laughs) And she goes back into just a side room, and you hear her going through some stuff, and she pulls out little baby arms, <laughs> and she goes up to him, and uh, she hits them together, and they kind of go, and move, and uh, they're, like, decrepit and, like, disgusting looking, and she screws them into place where his horns were. And then she says to you guys, smiling quite largely, I think that went w- quite well, don't you think? <laughs> I happily hand her a week's worth of rations. All right, take that out of your <laughs> inventory, and that's where we're going to leave it. I love how Roz just spent two weeks of rations. At... No, just one. Just one. Well, you spent a week's worth of rations on me, didn't you? No, I that was Kairos. Oh, well, that's right. That's right. Thanks, guys. We'll be back next week, probably on Monday. But who knows what happens between now and then. Maybe we get bored. Maybe we get Corona. True, we could. (laughs) Just such a serious thing and a legitimate (laughs) possibility. We all might already have it. Me more so than any of you. Me more so than any of you. Roz has it, let's be real. (laughs) (laughs) Definitely. Have you been around coughing people, Roz? He's been in a grocery yeah, store been, for 10 I've hours a day for three grocery. weeks. <laughs> Do you, like, freak out when you hear someone coughing? Like, ugh. No, dude, like... it's it's inevitable. Like, it's, yeah. there's so many people in my store. All right. We'll be back and hopefully not be sick. But be good to yourselves. Be good to others. And we'll see you next time, everybody.